All right, this is one of the heaviest projects I've ever built. It weighs 60 pounds or 27 kilograms. And all it really is is a car battery and a UPS. And I built this all out of stuff I had lying around. The car battery was from a car that stopped working, but the battery was still good. This is a UPS that's battery failed. So I just hooked it into this. This is an ammo box. And this was a backpack with a cart on it. So I cut the backpack part off and it happens to fit the battery and the UPS perfectly. And I just used some straps to hold everything in place because it's quite heavy. The stuff that actually I did purchase were the connectors here. So the terminals here disconnect. Not too easily because you don't want to have high current things disconnect easily. This is the battery and this is the UPS. And the other thing I spent money on was the battery terminals. So these go onto the lead terminals of the battery and the wire gets attached to this. Now I don't know exactly how long this will last. I believe somewhere between 4 and 10 hours depending on the amp hours of the battery. I believe it's somewhere between 40 and 100 amp hours in a car battery. Now the reason I went with this UPS is because I can turn it on when there's no AC attached and I can turn off the beeping sound by pressing this. So that's definitely a nice feature. And another good thing about this UPS, which I haven't done, this is almost an identical model. Is it has some variable resistors here. So I can adjust the battery's float voltage by rotating this pot here. And I can also adjust the frequency output of the UPS. I can adjust the voltage output of the UPS. And I can also adjust the transformer voltage, I believe this is. So those are nice to have, and I need to adjust those because the voltage output of this is pretty low still. It's around 100 volts AC, and I want to get it a little higher. And the frequency is a little off. It's uh, 61 hertz as opposed to 60, but that probably shouldn't be too big an issue. But I do want to increase the battery float because this is a much larger battery than it was designed for, so the higher voltage should help charge the battery. So that sums up that project. And it's really useful because where I live, I lose power probably four times a year and sometimes for days on end. So having the ability to charge things is always good or power up a device. Thanks for watching.